Yeah, and I have to throw in one thing about this, and I think that moving back home, if you can, with your parents, and if you have a good job, you have that example of $200,000 worth of debt, you have a $50,000 income, you move back home with your parents to accelerate the repay of the college loan. It could work. Just make sure you have a plan and an exit strategy, right? Time box it to two years and make it a jump start. But you really do want to get out on your own. I could tell you when I, I was thankful and grateful, my buddy JD, he inherited a house, wanted me to move in with him. I, and I, and I went and, and, and it goes back to like, I was living paycheck to paycheck and I wasn't even really technically paying rent. I was splitting bills with him for the house. Like he wasn't charging me rent, like such a good guy. I love him to death. Um, it, it was just, it, it just, to me, when I think back, I was so stupid, right? Like I look back at what I was making as a young guy and it was going and it was going to stuff that I couldn't even, I can't even tell you what it was, Jody. I can't even tell you where it went. I have nothing to show for it. Have an exit plan, right? So you move back in with your parents, time box it to two years, one year, whatever that time box is to help you jumpstart and accelerate that payback and then find your own place, get your roommates, do whatever you need to do to get out of your house because nothing feels as good as being a bit more independent. I could tell you I love that feeling um, when I moved in with my buddy. And I remember, uh, I'm going to go on a side story here, Jody, um, my little brother, because I didn't move very far from the house. It was very close to my old house. It's, it's a funny story, but uh, my little brother comes over to visit me at the house. And my father um, kept telling him and my mother, oh, he'll be back. He'll be back, right? This is this is temporary, right? Well, it, it wasn't. And I, I never moved back into my parents' house after that. But um, I remember my, my brother told me the story. He went home and they're having dinner and he was just at my house. And my father's like, oh, he'll be home. And my brother's like, I don't think so. And my father's like, what do you mean? He goes, they got like a 32 inch TV and they got cable and they got a freezer full of Hagen Dass. I don't think he's coming home. <laughs> like it was just like, it was like, you know, which was true. We were, you know, having a lot of fun, you know, back then a 32 inch uh, Sony Trinitron, I'm really dating myself, um, was big time. And I bought that thing for the apartment and that thing was crazy, right? That was like the size at the time. See? So that's one of the stupid things I bought, Jody, right? I couldn't buy a 20 inch TV. I had to buy a 32 or a 35. I think it was 32. I want to say 32 or 35. Might even been a 35 now. I can't remember. Um, but I did spend a, it was big. It was massive and it was beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah. And, and that's where it all went. It took like three guys to carry it up the steps, but it was, it was nuts. It was very nuts. So